This video will cover basic alarm email notifications for the Foglight DB2 SQL Server and Oracle database cartridges. This demo will cover how to configure basic email notification settings for the Foglight cartridges for DB2, SQL Server, and Oracle for agents to send an email when an alarm notification is triggered by an agent. Foglight mail server settings are a requirement for this configuration. Please consult the listed video or the software usage guide to configure the mail settings. Review the optional tasks on alternative methods for setting up email addresses. To configure email notifications at the alarm level for database agents, log into the Foglight web console with the Foglight user and click on databases. Select an instance to configure email notification settings. Admissions to alarms can be done through the configure alarms button and through settings administration. To configure more than one instance with the same email notifications, click all of the agents that apply. Click configure alarms. Working in the settings tab, the alarm view contains predefined rules that are organized by all alarms and categorical rules or a single rule. Within this alarm view, you can customize the alarm settings and email notifications for all alarms, a category of rules, or a single rule. By entering the database alarms view, the selected agents to receive the same configure email notifications and or alarm settings are listed under the selected agents. During email configuration, if an email server is not found, you may get prompted to configure an email server. For more information on this, refer to the video on how to configure an email server or consult the software user guide. To configure email notifications, decide on the scope for the change. Will it apply to all of the alarms in the category of rules or a selected individual rule? For this exercise, I'll configure email notifications for a particular category, such as the locks category, as opposed to a selected rule, in which it would be simple enough to apply the same principles directly against it prior to the finding of the email addresses. Let's review the listed and recommended options. Enable or disable all will enable or disable the alarm and email notifications for all rules listed in the category. Set the default email settings and be aware that when arranged in these settings, it will globally configure all notifications to use a specified email address. If the use default address is checked in the individual alarm email notification setting, then by default, the selection is checked for all alarms to override if needed at the individual rule level thereby unselecting the option to insert a new address. Click on View Alarm Status should display the current state of each alarm in the category. It's recommended to ensure the alarm notification status are both enabled for each individual alarm of choice. Email notifications for those individual alarms with disabled settings will not have any action taking place. You will receive no notifications for those particular alarms. Set configurations on selected agents is not currently an option for the email notification settings. It is a specific choice to copy alarm related settings to other agents. Click the define email settings button to proceed with configuring the email notification settings and then a dialog box pops up. This box will only display upon configuring against all alarms or a category of rules and not for an individual rule. When defining email notifications, you control who received email messages, the subject line, and some text in the body of the email. You can also dictate whether an email is sent based on severity levels. To change which severity levels that warrant an email notification, use the severity dropdown under messages will be enabled for severities. To configure the same email addresses and messages for all severity levels, Select Configure Mail Recipients for All Severity and click All Severities. To configure different email recipients and messages for each of the severity levels, select Configure Mail Recipients for the following options and then click a severity level to configure the different email notifications for each level. For this demonstration, I will configure email notifications for all severities. In the Message Settings dialog box, configure the email recipients. You can enter in the email address, multiple email addresses separated by commas, or create registry variables. Uncheck the Use Default Email Address to override this option if using email addresses other than the default. In the To field, type the addresses of the people who need to take action when this alarm triggers. In the CC field, type the addresses for other people who want to be notified when the alarm triggers. 
the subject is optional to configure. Edit text will be included with the default message. The default message uses variables. Avoid editing the variables which are identified with an at symbol seen at the individual rule level. Next is the body prefix. Any added text should appear above the alarm default message in the body of the email. Here's an example. Click set to set the email to configurations for saving. Click set to further stage two changes and exit out. Although the configurations are shown for each rule in the category, settings aren't complete until the changes are saved. Click Save Changes. Each enabled rule in the category now has configured email notifications for the selected agents. You can verify by selecting the agents separately from the database's dashboard and re-entering the alarms view. Repeat the process to configure additional email notifications for all the rules when needed. At this point, the demonstration is complete. To learn more about Foglife for Databases, visit support.quest.com. For quick support questions, follow us on Twitter at Quest Experts.